guys, I don't think I've seen a weapon in Splatoon 3's history that has made more people on my timeline say, yeah, I think I want to main that. The first kit has suction and bubble, which, you know, I I'm a junior enjoyer. I love standing inside of a bubbler and throwing bombs, but now I can stand inside of a bubbler and throw slashes. But the second kit? Ooh. Ooh, the second kit. Then we have another inkjet weapon! Dude, it's been so long since we got another inkjet weapon. If you didn't know, we have five of them right now. We have Tri Slosher, Cerebrella, Rapid Blaster Deco, Ballpoint, and a Kinova. That's, that's it. I can't lie to you. I really wanted it on Dowser Duelies, but beggars can't be choosers. I, I might have accidentally manifested the, the thing that we're experiencing right now with this. I, I was having a little too much fun with Wiper last night. And now here we are. Like, Twitter compression be darned. There's a lot to go over in this video. Look at the reach of, like, the beast. <laughs> it seems like whoever is, like, playing it really does like to use the charge slashes because a lot of the gameplay does, like, revolve around that. And just, like, the way, what, is hap what is happening here? Why? How does it do that? Like, hop, hit, hit? Kind of curious, like, how much control you have mechanically over the weapon here. Uh, the Grizzco Splatana, like, slide forward type move. Like here, and then there again. I just, ah, I wanna play the thing. I wanna play the thing now. Like here, I'll, I'll give you the opportunity. Point and laugh, point and laugh. Person who already plays a weapon with a very large hitbox once learned the new weapon with the big hitbox. Yeah, yeah I do. I do and I'm shameless about it. Give me another one. Give me another weapon with a stupid hitbox. I will learn it. I'm gonna do it! Ending Splatoon 3 with only two types of Splaton and Bow would feel kind of silly when we think about how many Brellas and how many Duelies we had in 2. Like, they made the new one purple? How, how am I not supposed to want to play it a little bit? Come on! That's not fair to me! <laughs> also, hey, guys, the, uh, the white, yellow, black, and purple Splatoon 3 logo striking again. <laughs> They know what they're doing. I'm just so curious on how it's gonna like feel comparatively to the other ones. Like, you know, obviously different weapons have different advantages. Tana Wiper is gonna always be like your fast one. Like I don't think there's gonna be a day where this like won't like feel good. Like look, 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 look at this, look at this. Wee! Yum. Spatana Wiper also has its torpedo combo ability, and the Spatana Stamper has, you know, like you watch and you see how this thing moves. Obviously, it has a lot of reach. You can't deny that. Obviously it does like a stupid amount of damage. You can't deny that. It's it's a three shot. That's important. It's a three shot. For people that were worried it was a two shot, which is totally understandable. We can actually get a feel for its range from this fight because you're fighting the Dowser Julies here, but they're in the middle of their roll, which actually shortens their range. Like okay, I'm standing on like the line here, right? Here's Dowser Julie's reach when they're when they're like just standing still. And then dodge rolling, it's a fair amount less. Here is one swipe. Stamper. Sadly, until we see this weapon like really in action, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell. But it has to be like at least dodge roll dowsers. That's what it feels like at least. The guy in the video just loves to go for the big swipes. Like, look at what 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 what, what is this? Did he like did he like get his like foot? How are we? Like, I know he's not like going through the tower because the guy gets like on the grate like a teeny tiny bit. But this is just this is just sick to watch. It's sickening. <laughs> After we get like a really good showing of like the Wellstring versus like Splatana matchup here, like I know it looks like it makes the bow kind of look a little bad because the bow doesn't win this fight, but like you have to realize that on a map like this or on any of the other like kind of vaguely similar maps with like a good amount of elevation, like 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 Ship Shape for example, right? Like one of the biggest things this weapon will face is that unless you're like aiming like directly up at them, you really have a hard time like reaching guys that are up there. That's gonna be like part of what lets this weapon like not be completely in control. You gotta kind of stay still and swipe at them and people can take advantage of that from you. Also, okay, we were talking about the hitboxes before. What is this? What is that? Was, was, what, what, what is, what is this? Here, I'm just, I'm just showing you it one more time. Like, what, what happened here? Like with Wiper, I feel like if I wanted to hit a shot like that, it's gonna be like really difficult to do. Like, I know, you can, you can do the forward slash thing with the regular Spatanas, too. I, I, like, I forget. I forget to do it, like, all the time. Like, all, all the time. All the time. Like, I think all I think all the wiper gaming I was doing yesterday, I didn't think about doing that at all. I watched the videos, and I'm like, oh, yeah. 
The regular Splatanas can do that too. I, I, I don't really have like a lot of Splatana experience. I'm gonna be for real, for real. This like the new weapon just inspired me a lot. I'm like, ah, uh, ooh, and this is like, you know, almost two years in a Splatoon. So uh, like I got a little catching up to do to be able to really be the Splatana guy, to really be him. I feel like I gotta like really like, like flick my wrist into it as I'm like coming up on them. I don't know. And then you got this great one here where they use the suction bomb to kind of force this guy out and then just sl slide up the ramp to go and get him. It just feels like when you're using this thing right, it's gonna be really gross. Like it feels like you're gonna have to like understand the mechanics of it to get the most out of it. But like the people that learn to play it are gonna be really yucky with it. Also, I'm just, I'm just going back, it's like, Slice around the box, it's just... What do you mean? Like, the way it slaps around boxes makes me feel a little less bad about being able to do this. And this little bit is good they include it. It's clear that it's showing that, like, hey, you know, one fully charged swipe and one normal swipe will still do the same thing that, like, the stamper does, which is good. That's good they show that. They also make it clear, again, that there's, like, no verticality you're getting out of this. Like, you, you have to swipe in the direction that you want to hit people, or it's just not happening. But like, you have to like very clearly show like, hey, this is where I want to aim. This is where I want to go. Kind of lets people like work around you and your existence. I think sometimes what people do is they see a weapon that's really strong, like the new mint decapitator, decapitator. <laughs> oh no, I did it already. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say it. Like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it so many times. Like, oh yeah, the decapitator. No, no. But like, the thing about a weapon like this is like. I don't know if you'd really want to play like two or three of it in a comp. I feel like it would just be, it would just kind of slow you down like a little too much. It feels like other weapons would work really well with like what it does and how it accomplishes things. And it's not gonna like invalidate weapons by existing because just because you have one of these guys on the field doesn't mean you don't have other things that you could fight as another weapon, right? Like just because there's a giant silly sword doesn't mean that you can't fight other things too. Like it feels like a weapon that's gonna be obnoxious, but it's also gonna need like your help to get its maximum potential. And that's something that's gonna be like fun to watch, to see people work alongside it. I think I'm just looking forward to something like a, li a little ridiculous existing in like a, in like an evil, but also silly manner. Because come on, it's just a, it's a, it's a giant toothbrush. How am I not gonna wanna play the giant toothbrush? I just. I clap my hands a little bit together when I see it. I'm like, wow, this thing looks really disgusting. But like, at the same time you look at it, you're like, okay, it is still like a hair slow, right? Like when you're trying to fire all those, like all those swipes, people can still walk up to you and hit you probably. We'll find out the fun way when June rolls around. Like what do you think like the average lobby is gonna look like on like the first day? Cause like a lot of people up until like yesterday were like, hey man, I can't wait to go into tower control and fight, you know, eight custom range blasters. But it feels like with every day that passes, more people are looking into everything else that's there too. Like you have a, you have that heavy edit with the crab. You have, you have, you have this freaking sword now. You have ideally bamboozler that's gonna get the chumps and hopefully, hopefully busy bomb. Question mark, question mark, question mark. It makes me look just really happy for this game and like its future and whatever comes after Splatoon 3 because they're trying so hard to put like good things into the game. They've done so much good for this game. Are they made mistakes? Totally, 100%. But there's so much that they're doing like, it feels good at the same time. And hopefully this season will just feel really nice and be a really good breath of fresh air for a lot of people. We've had so much good happen. The kits feeling nice. Fry finally getting her W. This crazy sword this morning. It feels good, you know? The Toon community deserves little W's like this. We really, really, really do. And hopefully, we get more as like, we get closer to June. Fingers crossed. The Decavitator is just gonna be a weapon that feels good to play and also like looks cool to get clips with. And I know we're, we're losing the clip feature like 10 days into June. So like, get the clips while you can before you have to, I guess, just send them to your phone and then upload them anyway. Still, still gonna be able to get clips. They like just made for this like one minute showcase of this weapon. Come on. I hope I've managed to get you like excited about this creature because 
I still don't know which kit I want to, like, grind harder first. It might just end up being both. Like, giving us both at once just makes you be like, oh. And when they're both fun, you're like, oh, what do I, what do I, what do I, what do I pick? Like, I mean, hey, I have two hands. One hand for one Splatana and the one hand for the other. We can make it work. So, yeah, share your joy with me in the comments. Or maybe you don't like it. That's fair, too. Share your unjoy with me in the comments. I, my brain's gonna be, like, spinning this thing around like like it is right here in this video, like a little microwave, for, like, like the next couple of days. That's just gonna be how it is. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a good one.